Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember... Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Messages. I won't be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. I believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. Forget. Anna! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, have you? Speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare, and here I was, in front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund. How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principal.
I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Um. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um. Uh. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll... There's always more to people. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. These are cool. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scant. To I need to check my notes. Ah, that's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? Good observation. Get out. Aren't you impressed I did- I'm wearing a name tag. What well, doesn't say you're first? That part is creepy, but I'm- You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, anyway, that no one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the keycard to the office. Stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. 
Mr. Regerson needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find... Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. says it's locked. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. That's a lot of salami. Their buses don't go very far. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh... Really? Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm 
so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. Can you sign it? I... Yeah. I guess so. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. I won't ever forget this. This will become a core memory. <sighs> oh! <laughs> How are you, Mr. Duck... Two desks on this side look unused. You're calling. I'm telling you. Your ex wife did not cancel your booking. She, uh. to her password. I don't think I have an... The PC is on, but the per they only have a single person answering the hotline? That's surprising. Sure, I'd feel particularly appreciated. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well kept secrets and rumors. says it. It 
It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent. Signed by L. Angst. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? What are you doing? S sorry. How are the detective things going, Mr. It's Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Uh, are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. It's a list of all the, the most busy driver. I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry. You can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Goodbye. Do you know anything about- What are you talking? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are hmm, 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, and Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me a piece! So... <laughs> what is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? Excuse me for a sec- Oh man, I don't know how it sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your top-
now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. What can you tell me about Laura X? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, sorry. I'm so... I don't understand why such a small office needs a reception. I'm just here to keep the angry customers up. I'm the only one here in the operating office. I plan all the bus route. <laughs> Isn't that... Don't you have an angry customer? Uh, really? What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. Can you tell me more about Freddy Fredersen? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I what do you think about me? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry. This is Bear Bus. Your bus will... She's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. Was it you who called? No. I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some. As soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. <sighs> I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes, and you can have it and so much more later when...
office parties or they stop doing them at the precinct after the, uh... So, this must be the crime scene. This note is curious. Oh, I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. Yes, dear? I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective. And I need to ask- A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? How many dead bodies have you encountered? I almost died that one time when I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. That incident taught me to stay away from beautiful ladies in red. Did they break your kneecaps? Huh? No! You can see that I can walk just fine! Hmm... Surely you must have some interesting story. No one died. I investigated the case one, caught them red-handed, and got my... They called it the piggy... Did someone get shot? What? No! Beaten up? Uh... No. Hmm... think of Sophie Windheimer. She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. But don't tell anyone! Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm, to be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective! I don't know what's going on at all! Dishwasher's broken again! What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect? Why would they put the mugs in face up? What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, oh, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. 
Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Hmm. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Furderson's, um, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. I'm a private detective, and... Is that so? I need to find my client. Yeah, uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business around here. On. They only have a single person. That's surprising. The cold air ruffled my feathers. And I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone. This isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty... Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Mm, except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? <sighs> I don't... I thought you were a detective. I'm investigating a... Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. Nah, too busy minding my own... I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it 
disappeared, and others appeared. Very suspicious. <sighs> what are you even talking? Is this your bag? No. <sighs> Everyone here is being really a. needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Well, why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? You should have told me you're the duck detective. What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. So is Freddy getting fired or what? I'm, uh... Ugh. It can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me... It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. And what they were planning in the kitchen. What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, why don't you just return? I do! Uh, just not. Do you get along with Bo He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah! Why do you need so much salami? That's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. What kind of a person? Ugh, oh, I don't know what I saw in him. I mean, I, my god, is he boring. How are you getting on with Margaret? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. It seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. What is Rufus Sedaris? Uh, he came with the building. <laughs> Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags and... It's, uh... Are you... 
Are you getting along? You know, which, which means we understand. He is quite harsh towards the young... Do you know who's back? Isn't that... Freddy's? Surely you must have some interesting story. That's an inappropriate question. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. was as I thought. Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Salami Bandit! This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for... You Know What! Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What? Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Huh? A letter? Ugh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot. The real present got stolen and switched for salami. It's the salami bandit. I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? Do you think she... I mean, now 
she's crying. I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. I should really get back to... That's not nice at all. This is what someone's birthday. <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything. <laughs> uh -huh. Leave me alone. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says limited edition. It's a heart-shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. of that letter is. Tell me something about this letter. Sophie won't even talk to me. I don't know what to do. That's not no Who messes with someone?
What do you think about the- <clears throat> People don't know how to write letters. What's with the weird life? This folder says, manual how and when to create. I'm falling asleep just. Don't want to be Laura. Salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I cracked it. Let's see what secret. This person she's met. Seemed that the salami present. against potatoes. <sighs> Did Sophie ask about me? Um, ah, maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. Explain. 
explains all the high-grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. Life's just not... <sighs> I lost all my hockey, but... So... Not a fan of all that. People just cry over everything. I think I saw. I should really get back. Oh. Oh. That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birth?
Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. The mystery of the Salami Bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the Salami Bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West, smuggling it to the East, and selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for... Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, final! Who is the murderer? I... What? I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He... is... right. Who a what? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question. Get to the point. It's through my observation. A conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous! Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a sir. It's okay. Just tell us what... <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Sal Sitchia. Huh? What's... Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now that is really scandalous! Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... Listen, everybody! It's really important that... <sighs> I need to... Oh. <sighs> I'm still here. Yeah. This is getting intense, isn't it? Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us that follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just... Like this? Yep. You're... This is curious. Why would she write like this? Someone forgot. Someone forgot. Oh, oh. maybe I can be a. You always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Maybe I should. Be that hard? Oh, oh, maybe I can be a. I always wanted to be a.
obsessed with detectives. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually... I've been doing very well. The truth... Huh? Why would Laura recruit... Aren't there any... I've been... The truth... Huh? What if it says... It's a letter for an app signed by Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his pre Should I look for her? Does this mean I'll... She left? Should I look for... Sophie and she left a note on the deck. Sophie's parents are up. I wonder if that's what made her... What a drum. I should keep this as evident. She complained about this online. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is 03051. Let the last dialed number. Let's see. The last dialed. Let the last dialed number on this phone. Is this is the note Sophie. <laughs> That's at all that she she definitely and she would have told me I'm her friend Did you read I did something's It says it's locked I can't leave now. I need to solve.
Maybe I should write a... It can't be that hard. What do you think of this? It's no surprise she... Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? What do you think of Star? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that. I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to Job. Sometimes the truth seems a bitch. Look what you've now everyone is dilly dallying. Was that different? But... Do you know any? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank, right? Only he would find this funny. Have you seen? <clears throat> I can't say it comes. She never particularly. It's difficult. It's a list of all the most busy driver out of all four seen. Want. Let's see what secrets he has in here. A lot of security for a branch manager. Wait, this keychain. Here it is. The key for the server room.
Let's see. Uh, what? No. Uh, hmm. The electrical sparks and blinking light. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. What's he keeping in all these boxes? I don't think it's meant to do this. Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. vouchers on Issei. Be more to this.
This is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. Hmm. That might be illegal, but this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the Salami Bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the Salami Bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. where she is being kept. It's important that I, I couldn't alert the culprit. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything so I could confront them. What are you doing in there? Snooping around, up? That room is strictly off lip. I even put a post. This is for him. him. Huh? Manfred is the Salami Bandit. That makes a lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Fredersen ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. wasn't working alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved.
I couldn't believe Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Aha! I had it all figured out now. It was time that I confront the culprits. But first, I had to free Sophie. Oh. Why is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. It's kind of a long story. And guess who deduced said long story? The one and only Duck Detective. Read the room. This is how everything went down. The Bretzel Bearbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit! He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime, so Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything was going well until... The Duck Detective! That's me. Infiltrated the office. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime. But I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet. And ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch! What? Everything is figured out, but Manfred, Sophie, who should get arrested? Manfred was the map. Should Manfred get arrested? He is the reason this all st- Of course he's- What about Sophie? Without her, the she manipulated. Should Sophie get arrested? What she did, she needs to- Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on, should Boris get arrested? He might have not realized what was going on, but that doesn't mean he's not liable. All right. I will report... Manfred! Sophie! Boris! And I do it again! Anything to secure my family's well-being! I'm not sure grand scale so How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place! Hey! I work! Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions! How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus! How dare you embezzle money from the company and then threaten me! <laughs> Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off! And then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation! Look who's going to jail now, Manfred! Not me! That. I stand by what I said. 
I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch, not accuse my best friend of smuggling. <laughs> I know this was a why the Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill, and the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Uh, uh, if you're stupid and then you're also too stupid. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck to Dick. You're just as cool as I imagined. Not now, Featherson. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But it is my duty to throw bread to the fine beak. Of Lady Justice. going to pay for the bus. <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Ahem. <clears throat> Need a ride? I just booked this one. It's been such a long day after all. <sighs> no, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? <sighs> I... <sighs> yeah, fine. Great. Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine, we can team up. Absolutely not. And I could be your sidekick. <laughs> 